Meanwhile, in another story, the People's Embassy of the People's Republic of China has collaborated with the University of Abuja to drive its Global Civilization Initiative in Nigeria. This need for modernization through culture-specific ways took center state at a seminar in Abuja yesterday. Scholars and professors from the university gave lectures on the lessons to be learned from China and how Nigeria could implement similar strategies. Well, here's more on this report. In March 2023, Chinese President Xi Jinping introduced Global Civilization Initiative at the CPC, the Communist Party of China, in dialogue with world political parties at a high-level meeting. To shed more light on the initiative, a seminar in collaboration with the Embassy of the People's Republic of China and the University of Abuja was held on Tuesday. Speaking to journalists at the event, the Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Choi Jianchun, expressed China's drive for global modernization. We think that a cultural exchange, and especially mutual learning, can help us to find a way to do good things for the development of the two nations. For example, here, China, you know, we cherish the value of harmony. Nigeria, also, you are multiple ethnic groups here. So we believe harmony, symphony, symphony, harmony. And especially here today, we are talking about civilization. So we are civilized nations. And how can we advocate this initiative? and to respect diversity of civilization, especially how can we innovate our culture, our civilization. So you just mentioned that we are thinking, we are planning, how can we do things, especially from the cultural sectors. For example, we can send young people to China, we can do, for example, cooperation in film and in literature, and also we can do something together, especially to try to show the beauty of a Nigeria to Chinese young people. On his part, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Abuja, Professor Abdul Rashid Nala, stressed that no civilization attempts would work without academia, as he also stated that modernization didn't necessarily negate cultural peculiarities. The idea to develop Nigeria to be self-sufficient, the idea to create a big world, the idea to address poverty in Nigeria, everything, you know, I even mentioned the book one and crisis, everything about development in this country, university must be at the center of it. The government must be courageous enough, right now they are not courageous, to demand for performance of universities. A lot of money is being spent in the university, whether government is supporting it, whether we are looking for grant. This is huge resources, but government is not asking for performance. I mean, how do you have a university where professors are not assessed? They are the highest paid people in the university system. Nobody assessing them. Some people will not even teach. Some people will not do research. Some people will not do something. It's a total waste. And our government has no courage to demand if we really means to develop like the Chinese decided to develop and they demanded from universities that they must be world-class standard, they must produce, they must show results, must, and I will use the word must. Why can't we develop alongside of our traditions, our kingdoms, our way of life? Now our, 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 our emirs, our kings, our chiefs, we render them useless. We think we are doing modernization, but where power belongs in the true sense of African tradition, we render them useless. In his lecture, the president of the Society of Nigerian Artists, Mohamed Suleiman, expressed the need for identity in modernization. Besides the agricultural modernization and industrialization that they are bringing in, please, I think it is high time that Nigeria supports the ideas of understanding and champion the ideas of this campaign so that if you have a people that are 1.4 billion and you put your 200 million to, like the ambassador will say at most times, that is a 1.6 point billion, say, man force. There is no continent, I mean, there is no nation in the world that can actually challenge that. It's got technology, it's got military capacity, it's got everything for it to grow. The GCI, amongst other initiatives, is expected to further strengthen the traditional friendship, build better relationship and promote cultural exchanges and understanding between China and Nigeria.